On a future day, the earth was continuously assaulted by natural disasters, terrifying hurricanes swept in, and hundred-meter-high tsunamis devoured every city, a heat wave in Madrid claimed the lives of two million people, human civilization teetered on the brink of extinction, to counter these natural calamities, scientists from around the world came together and devised a plan, they created a network of thousands of satellites in space, each satellite possessed the capability to monitor weather changes, and whenever signs of a natural disaster emerged, the satellites would deploy corresponding elements to interfere. In this way, humans gradually controlled all kinds of extreme weather. This system became known as Dutch Boy, and the person leading the design team was Jake. However, Jake's fiery temperament angered the higher-ups in the government. In a meeting, the government promptly removed Jake from the team and replaced him with his brother, Max. Three years later, the military discovered a village covered in ice and snow in the scorching desert. Everything inside had been frozen into ice sculptures, and over 300 villagers perished. Investigation revealed that all of this was caused by Dutch Boy in space. Since Dutch Boy was to be transferred to international control in a week's time, the president ordered Max to investigate the cause of this incident. Ensuring no further issues during the transition, Max sought out his dismissed brother, Jake, as he was the one who understood Dutch Boy the best. Despite harboring resentment towards the government for firing him, Jake eventually agreed to go to the space station and inspect Dutch Boy. Meanwhile, the space station retrieved the problematic satellite for examination. Rico, responsible for the inspection, seemed to discover something in the satellite's program. He made a copy of the data and placed it in the locker room. However, as he left, the glass in the corridor suddenly shattered, and a powerful airflow sucked him into space in an instant. Simultaneously, an anomaly occurred in Hong Kong, China. Cheng, in charge of the Asian satellites, had just exited a supermarket when a box of eggs accidentally fell and shattered on the ground, instantly transforming into fried eggs. The ground beneath his feet began to crack, and Cheng quickly fled in his car. Gas pipelines underground had already started exploding, and a surge of flame shot up into the sky. Cheng drove through the fiery chaos and managed to escape, only to witness the city reduced to ruins. Cheng later informed Max about the incident, suspecting that Dutch Boy was responsible for the explosion. Moreover, he had been denied access to the satellite system while attempting to investigate. Cheng believed that someone was manipulating Dutch Boy, intentionally concealing the system's faults. If these faults accumulated to a certain extent, Dutch Boy would trigger terrifying geological storms. Hearing the shocking news, Max was astounded. However, for safety reasons, he sought out programmer Dana and successfully hacked into the Asian satellite system. The results confirmed that someone indeed concealed the faults in the satellite system. On the other side, Jake arrived at the satellite monitoring station aboard a rocket. Welcoming him there was Ute, the current leader of the station, as Ute guided him into the office area. Jake received a video call from Max. From Max, he learned that the satellite in Hong Kong was also malfunctioning. Jake had to bring in his men to test the satellite, but as soon as they retrieved the Hong Kong satellite, the robotic arm responsible for the recovery lost control. Fortunately, Jake and his team managed to evade it in time, but the satellite they had just recovered was completely destroyed. The hard drive containing the stored information was also burnt. One of the team members informed Jake that they had discovered something through video footage. In Rico's accident, the damaged satellite door panel with the hard drive was not destroyed. It got lodged on the communication tower at the monitoring station. Jake and you promptly headed to the communication tower to retrieve the hard drive. However, just as they obtained the hard drive and prepared to return, Jake's spacesuit suddenly lost control. Luckily, Jake grabbed onto a cable in time and was saved from drifting away. Although Jake acquired the hard drive, he didn't disclose this information to the others. After this incident, he realized there must be a traitor among them within the space station. Someone who wanted to kill him and prevent the investigation into the satellite malfunctions. Jake and Ute began examining the information on the hard drive. And it turns out it was all rigged. But who was that person? Meanwhile, Cheng arrived in Washington, intending to report the gathered clues to Max in person. However, while waiting for the traffic light on the roadside, Someone deliberately pushed him onto the road. The speeding car instantly sent Cheng flying, with his last breath. Cheng told Max two words, Zeus. Jake contacted Max from the space station, fearing surveillance on their conversation. Jake used a secret code between the two brothers to tell a story. After the call ended, 
Max found Dana and showed her the video. They deciphered a hidden message from Jake, revealing that high-ranking government officials were intentionally destroying evidence. They conducted a search using Zeus as the keyword and discovered a file named Project Zeus within the program. However, viewing the file required specific permissions. Max turned to his girlfriend Sarah, who worked as a government agent, for help. With Sarah's authorization, they successfully deciphered Project Zeus. It turned out that someone was using Dutch Boy to create natural disasters. On the other side, Jake accessed the backup server and found the video footage from the day Rico was killed. Based on the information in the recording, they found hidden data concealed by Rico in a closet. Jake proceeded to examine the data and discovered that someone had implanted a virus into the satellites. Aiming to control the entire Dutch Boy system, Jake and Max had another conversation, sharing the information they had gathered. Jake informed Max that the only way to completely eradicate the virus was to reboot Dutch Boy. But it required the ultimate password held by the president. Max had to approach Sarah once again to assist in stealing the ultimate password, while the two were planning to steal the code. Chaos erupted in the space monitoring station. Over 200 satellites were simultaneously infected with the virus, causing them to go haywire and create various extreme weather conditions. The streets of Tokyo were pelted with hailstones the size of goose eggs. People who couldn't dodge in time were struck and killed by the hailstones. Meanwhile, Brazil was also hit by a cold wave storm, freezing the waves in midair. The tourists on the beach instantly turned into human ice sculptures. Now, the Dutch boy in space has completely lost control. In an hour and a half, the Earth will be plunged into terrifying geological storms. At the same time, the space monitoring station suddenly initiated a self-destruct program. In the midst of chaos, Jake discovered that the station's programmer, Duncan, was not present. This made him realize that the mole within the team might be him. So, he immediately instructed all the staff to evacuate by shuttle, while he himself found Duncan, who was manipulating the virus. The two engaged in a brawl as soon as they met. But Duncan accidentally shattered the glass in the room. Jake quickly escaped outside, while Duncan was sucked into space by the airflow. Since the reboot switch for Dutch Boy required manual operation, Jake, after seeing everyone board the shuttles, instructed you to lead the others to leave while he stayed behind to await the ultimate password. On the other side, Max, in order to obtain the ultimate password as soon as possible, approached Vice President Deckham, whom he trusted the most and revealed all the plans. However, after hearing Max's words, Deckham pulled out a gun and tried to kill him. Luckily, Max reacted swiftly and narrowly escaped. It turned out that Deckham was the mastermind behind it all. Max immediately informed Sarah of the truth after escaping, taking advantage of her position. Sarah created chaos and, when no one was paying attention, they kidnapped President Andrew. In the car, Max told Andrew that Vice President Deckham had secretly taken control of Dutch Boy. He intended to use the weapon to change the world and eliminate all potential presidential candidates. However, Andrew didn't believe Max's words until he witnessed his own just-delivered speech venue being devastated by a thunderstorm. Now, they had to deliver the ultimate password to Jake first. After eliminating the pursuing assassins, Sarah and Max used an autonomous driving car to deceive Deckham's ambush. Seizing the opportunity while Deckham was distracted, Sarah successfully subdued him from behind. Meanwhile, the geological storms caused by Dutch Boy had already begun, and terrifying disasters were occurring worldwide. Although Andrew managed to upload the ultimate password in time, the space station had already self-destructed by more than half. After obtaining the ultimate password, Jake immediately headed to the control room to prepare for the reboot of Dutch Boy. However, when he tried to open the control room door, he discovered that his password had become invalid. Fortunately, Ute appeared behind him. It turned out that she hadn't chosen to leave and, with Uta's help, they successfully entered the control room. As the last satellite was shut down, Jake pulled down the Dutch Boy reboot switch. The malfunctioning satellites gradually returned to normal and the crisis of the geological storms was successfully averted. However, the self-destruct program of the space monitoring station had reached its final stage. In the moment of crisis, Jake discovered an intact satellite. The two managed to hide inside it before the explosion. Jake and you piloted the satellite and successfully escaped. And they're pulsing. Six months later, 
Dutch Boy was repaired once again, with a safer system controlling all the satellites. This great design would continue to protect humanity's home.